Kia ora, I'm Michael from Lumio. Thank you for joining me at the Sociocracy Conference. I'm going to give you a quick intro to Lumio and a demo of how Lumio can be used to discuss and make governance decision with the consent process. Lumio is a worker-owned cooperative and we practice self-management principles. We are based in Aotearoa, New Zealand and operate globally. Our organization is a social enterprise with a mission to enable people to be involved in decisions that affect them. Lumio is open source software built with focus on people and participation. You can read more about us at lumio.com about. Lumio is an online platform that helps organizations include people in decision making. Decision making in organizations practicing sociocracy is critically important and is rightly given a lot of attention and training. Decisions are made about strategy and direction of the organization, financial decisions, adopting policy, appointing key staff, and even decisions about how decisions are made. The way decisions are made often reflects the true values of the organization and is an important part of the culture. If you're all together in the same place at the same time, you probably won't need a tool other than pen and paper. However, if you are more than a few people and are distributed remotely, you'll need a safe place online to discuss important topics, progress to a decision, agree an outcome, and store a record of decisions. Many people adopt software tools to help them with their daily work, talking, listening, and sharing info with each other when they are physically separated. Most collaboration tools fall within one of three communication modes. They also tend to mirror real-world practices. Real-time tools like Zoom are used for meetings, and Slack is like chatting around an office water cooler or across desks. To be effective, they need people to be present online at the same time. Asynchronous communications like email or forums allow people to participate in their own time, giving people more time to think about topics and respond appropriately. This is where Lumio mainly fits. Static or storage tools are the repository of documents, policies, and other published materials we produce. Mostly, we move between these loads, modes seamlessly and somewhat unconsciously. But thinking about these modes and what we need to do can be helpful when choosing the right tools for the job. So thinking about these modes, let's look at how real-time and asynchronous tools work together. Many of you will have chat tools like Slack or Teams and use it in your daily work, the operations of your organization. However, every so often a topic, question, or need for a policy arises. These can often have a big impact on your organization and people, so need more time and space for discussion and decision. This is governance. Good governance decision-making includes the right people, creates time and space for deliberation, follows a structured decision-making process to deliver a clear outcome. While chat tools have their place, they aren't designed for governance. Many people find chat noisy, cluttered, and confusing. People are easily left out. They struggle to participate in the discussion and to follow a structured decision process. Results in chat are unclear, and the decision history is easily lost or hard to find. However, Lumio is designed for governance decision-making. So move the topic into Lumio to ensure everyone's voice is heard and involved in making a good decision, a core principle of sociocracy. Lumio connects with your Slack channel to send you notifications, voting invitations, and decision results to help you keep up to date with progress in Lumio. Let's look at an example. For our demo, I'm going to introduce you to Oatmilk Cooperative and their governance circle, who use Slack for general chat and Lumio for governance decisions. Although this is a demo and the characters are fictional, it is based on a real policy discussion and decision held within our Lumio team. Chloe raises a topic in the governance circle Slack channel. That new health and safety legislation is about to come into effect. Chatting with her team, Chloe finds out that the organization needs a health and safety policy. Chloe accepts the task to draft a policy. As the policy will require input from other people, some careful thought and a decision to adopt the policy, Chloe offers to raise a Lumio thread to get the work started. We are about to go into a Lumio group. There are three things to keep in mind when using Lumio. 
A Lumio group is like a sociocracy circle, a place where a team of people gather to work towards an aim. Threads hold all of the information, discussion, and decisions about a topic. Polls are tools to help you progress a discussion to an outcome. You can apply consent, advice, and other types of decision processes. In our demo, Oat Milk Cooperative has created a subgroup in Lumio for our governance circle. You can see the group name, a logo, and an image for the group representing something about the group. The group description includes the aim and domain for our governance circle, along with a link to a document with further info. Scrolling down, we can see a list of threads in the group. These are active discussions in progress. We can click on a thread to read and participate. As well as the Threads tab, you can see a list of polls, members of the group, and files that have been uploaded to Threads. You can use the search bar with keywords to find the threads that you are looking for. Let's follow Chloe as she starts her new Lumio thread. The thread is started in the governance circle group. Chloe adds some tags to help people easily find the thread. She wants to notify members of the governance circle and alert people in their Slack channel. Chloe gives the thread a title about the topic, health and safety policy, and adds some context. Starting the thread is like writing an email. The thread title is like the subject line in an email, and the thread context is like the body of the email. Chloe adds an emoji and uses a bold format to emphasize the policy name. There is a wide range of formatting tools that you can use to help communicate your thread. Chloe starts the thread, and this is what a Lumio thread starts to look like. You can see the group the thread belongs to, the thread title, category tags, and click notified to see who has been notified. Let's flip back to Slack to see how the thread appears. In Slack, I see a notification that Chloe has started a thread about the health and safety policy. It includes a link to the thread in Lumio, the thread context that Chloe wrote, bold formatting, and the link that Chloe added to the document. Back in Lumio, after a few minutes, Chloe can see that five people have seen her thread, and there are three comments already waiting. Mary has written a quick reaction. Jayesh has asked a clarifying question. And Takashi has contributed input to the document. Chloe reacts to Mary's comment and writes a quick reply to Jayesh's question, posting her comment. In Slack, the comments appear in our Governance Circle channel with a link back to the Lumio thread. You can turn this off if the channel gets too noisy. Back in our Lumio thread, I see that Sanjay has asked, added a comment in Spanish. Lumio recognizes that this is not my preferred language and offers a translate button where I can read Sanjay's comment in English. Mary has just contributed some further information to help build our policy. It seems this thread has kicked off a lively discussion and has helped scope the dimensions of the policy. The Oat Milk Cooperative used the consent process for decision making, and Chloe wants to get on with writing the policy. So Chloe uses a Lumio poll to open a round, inviting comments, reactions, and clarifying questions to uncover any further information or concerns that may be included in the second draft of the policy document. When working asynchronously, we usually combine question and reaction rounds together to save some time. Polls can be started in a thread at any time. Chloe starts a question using a question round using a sense check poll, where members of the governance circle are invited to ask questions for clarification, clarification or to offer comments or reactions. Similar to starting a thread, a poll is given a title, assign tags, and Chloe adds context with details of what she is asking of people, including a link to the current document version.
let's check that the voting options are appropriate for this round. Options are to vote looks good with a supportive comment, to vote I have a question and add the question, and to vote concerned if you have a problem with the direction that this is going. The poll is set to close in three days, and you can change the close date and time. Lumia will prompt people to respond 24 hours before the poll closes. Chloe is now ready to start the poll. She invites members of the governance circle and adds a notification in Slack. The poll is now live. Chloe goes to the top of the thread and updates the thread context to let everyone know that a questions and comments round is underway. This is a good way to keep the thread context up to date for anyone joining partway through the process. A notice has appeared in the thread inviting people to view the poll. I can see some people have already voted and vote down to see if there are any comments or questions. Chloe now votes using the looks good option and adds a comment. You can see the current progress of the poll as results update immediately. And notice the poll event has appeared on the right hand side of the thread timeline. When everyone has participated, Chloe closes the poll and states an outcome. Stating an outcome is very helpful to keep everyone oriented with where we are in the process and what's going to happen next. The outcome completes the poll and this questions round. This round encourages people to consider the policy, participate with supportive comments and info, ask questions or raise concerns to help build shared understanding and improve the policy. The poll close and outcome are also announced in the Slack channel, along with the representation of the results. Back in Lumio, Chloe responds to Mary's question and gets on with updating the policy document. Having incorporated feedback and responded to questions, Chloe now raises a consent or objections round in Lumio using a custom consent poll type. The poll template comes with some pre-configured content, such as the poll title and details. Chloe edits the text to suit her proposal. And then adds a link to the latest version of the document. The consent poll has just two voting options consent or objection. Similar to the questions round, all Lumio polls follow a similar structure, allowing you to edit voting options and set a closing date and time. As usual, Chloe invites members of the governance circle to vote. The proposal is now live and people are invited to consent or raise an objection to the proposal. Voting consent supports the proposal. If you have an objection, you should write a reason and offer an adaption to the proposal to make it safe to try. Mary has an objection to the fire safety provisions in the building and offers to rewrite the fire safety section. Chloe responds and asks Mary if she can complete this before the poll closes or needs more time. When Mary completes the section and updates the document, her objection is resolved. And so Mary changes her vote to consent and leaves a comment for Chloe. You can now notify people that uh, an objection has been cleared and invite people to consent again. The ability to change vote helps build shared understanding and often results in a better outcome. 
When everyone has voted, Chloe closes the poll and states an outcome. Chloe notifies members of the governance circle with the results of the consent poll. She then lets them know what is going to happen next and sets a review date to see how the policy is doing in three months in case there's anything we need to change or improve. You may have noticed that as poll events are created, they are shown on the thread timeline. This provides a visual record of the process and an easy way to navigate to important decision milestones. Over in Slack, notification about the activity in the Lumio thread has been appearing the start of the poll and invitation to vote, with a link back to Lumio. You can see notifications as people vote in Lumio, including vote comments. Finally, Chloe's proposal outcome is notified in the Slack channel, along with final results. It can get a bit noisy, but you can control which notifications to send to Slack. So wrapping up our demo, your Lumio group is a safe place to hold discussions and make important decisions. Lumio threads hold the information, discussion, and record of decisions about topics and helps you keep track of current activity while building a living record for your organization. That's an example of how you can use Lumio for a governance decision like approving a new policy with the consent process. With the Lumio group, you can have unlimited subgroups so you can map your domain circles to subgroups and use the Lumio parent group for your parent circle. If you'd like to learn more, head to our website at lumio.com, try out the demo, and start a group on a free trial. Thank you.